Hello, I'm Aaron Engel, the superintendent for the School District of La Crosse, and this is a recorded informational session for the Elementary Upgrade Referendum 2024. We'll start with some of the challenges. In our school district, we have fewer students than we have in the past. District enrollment has fallen by 29% over the last 30 years, and this is primarily due to birth rates that have also fallen by 30% in that same time frame. Currently, our elementary buildings operate at just 68% capacity, and the district has lost 719 elementary students in the last eight years. The graph on the right shows our historical enrollment, where we had 6,632 6, students in 2017, and as of last year, we were down to 5,794. And this is a challenge for our school district because we're funded on a per pupil basis. And so as we have fewer students, it means we have less revenue from the state to operate our schools. Consolidating buildings is the best way to become more efficient with the revenue we do have to allocate resources to students, classrooms, and learning. Northside Elementary is a great example of how this was accomplished on the north side when Jefferson, Franklin, and Roosevelt Elementaries were combined at the brand new Northside Elementary School. And we have some aging buildings. The elementary buildings affected by this referendum are an average of 70 years old. Consolidating into new and updated buildings is more affordable than the estimated maintenance necessary to main those maintain those same buildings. The proposed solution is our referendum, which will be on the ballot on November 5th. Uh, this map shows uh, La Crosse and where the buildings, students, and staff will be changing. Uh, Emerson Elementary and Spence Elementary will be combined at a new building at the Hogan Administrative Site. And an addition will be put on to upgrade State Road Elementary in order to accommodate Hinchin Elementary students and staff. Which buildings will be improved? A new elementary building will be built to combine Emerson and Spence elementaries, and an addition will be put on to State Road to consolidate with Hinchin. And which buildings will close? Emerson, Spence, and Hinchin Elementary schools will close, as well as the Hogan Administrative Center, which will likely be relocated over at Central High School. Um, of course, folks want to know where will the affected students go? Most students, teachers, and staff from Emerson and Spence Elementary schools will move to a brand new consolidated school at the site of the current Hogan Administrative Building. And most students, teachers, and staff from Hinchin Elementary will move to State Road Elementary with upgraded eight classrooms and a gymnasium. Some students from Spence and Hinchin will move to Hamilton Elementary. How much is the referendum? Uh, the referendum is for $53.5 million, which is just a 40 cent, 40 cent increase over the current mill rate. This will fund the new centrally located elementary school inspired by Northside Elementary and additions and upgrades to State Road Elementary. Um, the total cost of the mill rate is bought down by some expiring debt. And so for those that are interested, the gross tax impact is 62 cents. As you can see in the graph on the right, our historical mill rate has dropped substantially over the last 10 years by over $4. Um, it was at $12.89 in 2013, and it has declined down to $7.98 this last year. Of course, the school board would not put this on the re on, uh, out for referendum if they didn't believe it was right for lacrosse kids, and here are some of those reasons why. Uh, first, it supports our teachers. School consolidation minimizes or even eliminates job loss and 77% of our teachers and staff support the plan. It balances the budget. With fewer old or outdated buildings, it decreases maintenance costs by an estimated 11%. Newer and improved facilities will run with increased efficiency, lowering costs as well. It upgrades our classrooms. Improved classroom technology aids learning, and modern classroom design enhances learning. Uh, a, New and updated facilities also appeal to new families and will attract new students. This referendum will strengthen our communities. Most teachers and students will stay together in their new locations. And 57% of students will now live closer to their new school location. And it focuses resources. The same level of resources at fewer schools will allow us to reach more students. 
And importantly, it maintains our lowest student to teacher ratio in the area. Here are a couple of frequently asked questions that we get from folks when we present. Uh, the first is, what is next if the referendum passes? The next step, if it passes, will be to engage the community, our students, and our staff about what they would like in the new building and begin the design process. After the design process is complete, we'll start construction with improvements scheduled to be completed in August of 2027. Of course, folks ask, what if the referendum fails? Uh, we really have fewer options if the referendum fails. The two primary options are to either close buildings by scattering students and staff to other buildings or to cut 40 to 45 staff members. These remaining options negatively impact the programs we can offer, increase our student to teacher ratios, and fracture the cohesiveness of our communities. Uh, some people have reached out to ask, what about the facility advisory committee recommendation? Uh, the facility advisory committee was a group of community members who met for eight months in 2023 and provided a recommendation to the school board in November. The facility advisory committee recommended closing two elementary schools, and this plan does that. Three of the four buildings the facility advisory committee focused on are addressed through this plan. And the facility advisory committee recommendation asked the school board to consider consolidation through referendum, which this plan does. Another frequently asked question is, how does this referendum balance the budget? The referendum closes four aging elementary buildings and the Hogan Administrative Center, the four, uh, three elementary buildings in Hogan Administrative Center, and reduces from nine to seven elementaries. With fewer elementary schools, we cut $2.5 million in expenses and balance the budget. Additionally, we'll be able to focus our resources and provide the same low level services at fewer schools reaching more students. And another common question is, what would happen to the old buildings? Um, as with Roosevelt Elementary and Lincoln Middle School, uh, buildings that we have closed in the past, we would engage the community to determine the site's future. The district could retain the property or sell it, depending on the desired uses, but we will keep our community strong by collaborating with the neighborhoods to find the right solution for each site. Um, the most important thing to remember from this presentation is to vote on November 5th. We want our community to exercise its rights and to support our democracy, so please get out there. And if you want to learn more information about the referendum, feel free to give us a call, shoot us an email, visit our website, uh, or check out our social media pages. Thank you, and have a great day.